Welcome to the first lecture of the ASK module and to your first lecture on the MBA programme. My name is Catherine Venter and I'm one of the academics teaching on the academic skills and knowledge module. This lecture is the opportunity for the whole cohort of MBA students to come together. You've been working in your study groups and now you'll get to meet the rest of the students who started with you. I want to use this lecture for a number of purposes. Firstly, I'd like to argue that ASK is arguably one of the most important modules that you are going to study. And I want to talk to you about why that is. I want to also spend a little bit of time reviewing where we're up to so far and recapping on some of the things that we've already covered. I then want to spend a bit more time thinking about where we go from here and what's coming up next. And in particular, I'm going to introduce you to some work that you'll be doing next week in your study group, which is a really exciting opportunity for trying out some of these skills and practicing them. I want to talk a little bit about some of the challenges of studying at a distance and of postgraduate study and think a little bit about how we actually might address them and discuss with you what strategies you're putting in place to overcome obstacles that you may encounter. I also want you to leave this session feeling that your fears and anxieties have been addressed. Hopefully any questions you have will be answered but if not at the very least you will know where you need to go in order to get them answered. So there will be opportunities for discussion and for questions at various points throughout the lecture. You've already been welcomed to the University of Leicester by Simon Lilly, the Head of Department. I hope that you have enjoyed what you've learnt so far. You are now a student of the University of Leicester and of the School of Management and sometimes you may be tens of miles away, hundreds of miles away or thousands of miles away and the University of Leicester may seem very remote. We want to make sure that you feel that you really are a student of the University of Leicester and we're very fortunate that technology now enables us to bring the University much closer to you so that you can engage in the kinds of activities that students on campus would be engaging in. You can talk to the whole cohort through the Ask Cafe and raise questions and meet people there and have the social discussion there. You can also, within your study group, spend time discussing with other students, with a smaller group of students, the issues and ideas and approaches and debates that you're encountering. And this will become even more important as you progress through the programme and you get onto the substantive modules where you can discuss the debates and issues there. I think you've chosen really well in coming to our MBA programme, but the University of Leicester has an enormous history of distance learning. We're one of the largest providers of distance learning in the UK and we have been providing distance learning for something in the region of 25 years. So we have a great deal of experience in doing it. Of course, the whole nature of distance learning has changed in that time. 25 years ago, distance learning meant that you were getting a pack of hard copy paper materials, that we were delivering things by post, that assignments were submitted by, by mail, often handwritten initially. Things have changed which mean that you can have a much wider variety of experiences and I think that we can make it really, really enjoyable for you. The, both the delivery of our materials, the delivery of our programme and the content of the modules are informed by that 25 years history of teaching distance learners. Of course the content is also informed by research in terms of the research interests and areas of expertise of the academics involved in the different modules. But actually so too is the delivery of our modules informed by research that's gone on. 
In the early 2000s, I did some research exploring distance learners' experiences of learning and talked to distance learners in many locations around the world about what worked for them and about what didn't and about what was difficult and what were the challenges and how they related to the university. One of the things that we were fed back on was that actually students sometimes found it quite difficult to identify with being a student of the University of Leicester. The university might have been something that perhaps they would only visit at graduation and not before. So sometimes people felt very remote. I've talked to you a little bit about some of the things that we've tried to do to help you feel like you are a part of the university, as you are. But the other things that students talked to us about was about how there was a relative flexibility and a kind of lack of structure within a module. You had a module start date and you had an end date when an assessment was due. What happened in between was very much left up to students. And in some ways, there are many advantages in that because it gives a great deal of flexibility. But students said that they found it very difficult to establish where they were within a module. Were they on track in terms of progressing through a module, in terms of managing the time? Were they on track in terms of their learning? How did they know that they'd actually learnt or that their learning was correct, that they had understood a theory correctly? We would provide review exercises so that they could start to think about how a theory might apply in their organisational context. But there were not the opportunities to explore whether that was a sensible application. And we wanted to address that. The other issue that particularly came out of the research that I did with students was them talking about the experience of isolation and that distance learning could feel isolated. There were times when you would feel like you were one individual sat in your study or office or wherever you chose to work, working on your own. So we've tried to respond to all of those issues in the way in which this module is delivered. In terms of the lack of, lack of structure within the module schedule, we have provided much clearer breakdown of where we're expecting you to be and when, delivering materials week by week and activities week by week as you progress through the module, leading towards that final assessment at the end. In terms of isolation, I think there's a lot that can be done now. One of the key things is your study group and the tasks within that. We used to have study groups. I remember students explaining how their study groups worked, but very often they would be two or three students. It would be run over the telephone. Or in Singapore, we used to have a breakfast club group who met every Saturday morning for breakfast to discuss the ideas. And they were great, but actually we can do all of those things now, even if you're not in the same physical environment as each other. And what a fantastically exciting place to explore some of the issues of this programme. If we're thinking about the, the organisational context, the cultural context in which some of these issues and theories are applicable, how better to explore it than amongst a group of students who have very different experiences in different organisations in different locations around the world. It's a fantastically exciting and rich place in which to explore these ideas. So I think there's a great deal that you will enjoy. And the more that you engage in the activities that we set, the more you're going to enjoy them. And as you would have seen in the first few weeks, we've talked about the process of learning and how we learn. And actually learning and discussing your ideas, examining what it is that you're finding, finding out that other people have an alternative perspective when you thought it was obvious that a particular position must be right, mustn't it? All of those things, that communication and debate and working together, it's not only enjoyable, it actually hugely enhances the learning experience.